Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to filter a classification from a point cloud using Cloud Compare. Let's do it! As the first thing to do, you need to open Cloud Compare, after that you need to choose a classified cloud and to um, open it in Cloud Compare actually. So click on the, the cloud and ensure you're using the right scalar fields and set as active classification like in the example here we can see as you can see maybe okay you can see we have a classified cloud and maybe we want to keep only this um, pose and exit lines so the first thing to do is to know which class is. We can do this using the query operation. So the third button on the toolbar, the point picking, it will open a sub menu and you can use select po one point and display its information. Zoom in a bit and click point. As you can see, this is 18 as class classification as a, a class this is classified as 18 and the other interesting information is actually the 15 one the whole pole is also 17 so we may want to keep all this three so we have the let's recap we have the 18 the 15 and the 17. So we select the, the cloud we want to filter and we use the min max filter point by value here on the toolbar. Click it and you have the range to set. So we, we want to set 15 uh, to 18. Ensure this is decimal and integer it's a bit strange to say but you need to set a floating point but it's currently an integer and then click split okay you can now uncheck the outside as you can see you have the whole one but how to get non-contiguous classes so let's try for instance to keep pose Okay, let's figure out. I remember it was 17. And we want poles and roads, which is actually 13. We cannot set 13 to 17 as we get other things. So we need to export 15 first. No, it was 13. 13 okay need to export 13 how can you export one just put min max at the same value click split we have we now have uh let's call it for name it to roads and now you can apply the same thing to the outside so it's 18 and click split now no it was 17 but the concept is okay is okay so now we have both roads and bullet wires okay let's put them near oh no the, this is a thing i hate about cloud compare actually very difficult to work with the tree so but let's skip it here okay we now have i create a new group and put both of them under the group so maybe it works now okay perfect we want to merge this and to merge this just select the both 
select them both, click edit and merge. Do you want to generate a scalar field from the with the original Cloud Linux not X? And now we have a non-contiguous class extraction done. So we are okay. I hope this tutorial satisfies you. And that's all for now. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to never miss an update. Click the like button and add the comment if you like. Thank you for listening. Bye.